Well, hello there. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can crop a webcam in OBS. And that's something that might be obvious to some, but it's not necessarily obvious to others. And the issue that some webcams have is that they show your face fairly tiny and then a lot of stuff of something that is kind of cluttering up the thing that you're actually presenting. So really, you only really need to present this much of yourself. I mean, it's different when you're showing something widescreen, when you're going full screen and you're, when you're introducing something like I'm doing right now, I'm saying hello to the audience and I'm talking about what this video is going to be about. But then when it comes to the actual presentation, you don't really need to have that much room left and right or top and bottom of you. And sometimes it's just better suited if you crop yourself and crop out stuff that you might not want to be in vision, like a huge light source, the dirty dishes or the clutter behind your desk and stuff that you don't really want to see. So um, like I tend to do this so that I have a little cut out circle. I can, I'm can. i talking about how to crop your webcam with straight lines. I have another video on my channel that will show you how to do this in a soft circle like I'm doing, but it's kind of slight more advanced topic. So let's start here and then move up to the circle. So I have, imagine this is my desktop scene. This is just a, a media loop that I've got here that I can switch on and off. And I'd like to add my webcam on top of that. Then quite commonly, I would go into here and add another source. And in my case, that's probably going to be a video capture device because that'll be the webcam. I'm not going to show you this now because I'm already using this webcam to, you know, show you my face. So I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you a kind of a media source, which is kind of me recorded as a webcam. So I'll call that one. I'll just call this one webcam. And just imagine this is, whoops, imagine this is a webcam source. And on it here, I'm going to have a looping file, jfake webcam. There we go. So that is technically me as well. There we go, slightly put on the spot. So the easiest way to inset a webcam, say to the bottom right or to the top left, I'm, just, I'm not going to go for the top left here, perhaps. Top right, sorry. I do frequently mix that up. I could do this, and that is the easiest way to inset my webcam, but there's a lot of stuff that's shown around there that doesn't really need to be seen. So for that, I can crop the webcam. If I wanted to do that, I can go literally over to my webcam source here, right click on it and add a filter. And filters are very powerful in OBS. There's a lot of filters that you can add here. And in our case, we're gonna go and add an effect filter namely a crop slash pad filter. And that's a little bit unintuitive. I'm just going to leave it as crop and pad. It's a little unintuitive, I say, because you you only really have options in pixels here. So you have left, top, right, and bottom in pixels. And you have to kind of guess um, how much you want to take off and then just have a look what, that, what, what the effect of that is. So I'm thinking there's too much room on the left and right. So I'm going to take at least 200 pixels off. That's on the left perhaps another 200 on the right, perhaps actually another 200. So maybe make that 400, 400 on the left and right, another 400. There we go. We're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. It's my, my face is still not as pronounced. I mean, if I just want this as a face cam, I really don't need to show my whole upper body. Also, perhaps the microphone doesn't really need to be in shot. So you see where I'm going with that. So perhaps we'll try 800. Maybe that was a bit much. But yeah, this is <laughs> this may be a bit... Uh, too drastic, but you get the idea. Perhaps at the top, we can crop another 100 off. And then at the bottom, I'm thinking another, at least another 600. Well, that's maybe a bit much. Well, so maybe 400 at the bottom or 500. There we go. Now you've got literally just my face. I don't know if that's if that's maybe too much, but you get the idea. That is how you crop a webcam. Now that you've cropped it and you think, well, that's a little bit too tiny. Now you can make that a bit bigger and then put that in the corner. So, you know, not perfect, I guess, but you get the idea. You can trim out a lot of clutter that you don't want. Let me just have one more crack at it. If I wanted to make an adjustment, I'm thinking, yeah, I've cropped too much on the left and right off. I'd like for this to be more like a square. So if you go and right click onto your webcam, click onto filters, and then you have all the filters that are on here. So you could have multiple filters on here if you like. But in my case, I'm just going to take the crop pad filter and then make further adjustments. So let's say uh, left, perhaps I'm going to leave that at 600, maybe 700. There we go. And on the right, I'm going to make that 700 as well. 
it's not perfect so you can trim around little uh, itty bitty values there but literally that is how you do that then of course after that adjust the position of your webcam that is how you crop a webcam and get out unnecessary clutter. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to create that soft circle because there's a little bit more to it than just applying that. Uh, just in case you wanted to go full screen and have an inset camera at the same time, if you wanted to switch between them, I will show you in my next video how that works. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.